favorite subject in school? History. Hindi. We, uh, Bel Air was known for having all these different types of foreign languages and my favorite subject, hands down, was Hindi. English. I was, English was the only class I was ever like any honors was attached to the class. English was it, because it was about reading and, and artists and, and emotions and stuff like that. <laughs> I didn't have fun. Um, boys, <laughs> I, you know, I think I liked, I liked choir. I wasn't much of a school person. I, I liked performing. I always have. So I wasn't, um, I liked English because they let me write. And I didn't like gym. And I didn't like, um, I hated math. I still hate math. Well, I was in cosmetology my junior and senior year in high school. So I actually had my hairdresser's license before I graduated high school. So that was my favorite subject. Mmm. I think I liked math. I was really good at that and calculus and stuff. Theater. <laughs> I love theater a lot. That's where I discovered that I could act and, um, and I love theater. Let's see, my favorite subject in school. Actually, probably English. My favorite subject in school was theater. I was a drama nerd, only we made it cool at our school. It was cool to be in drama. What subject did you hate? I hated algebra. I am definitely not a math person. It's the only class I almost failed. It was very sad. My favorite subject was drama. <laughs> but I would say anything that had to do with performing or I took interior design, you know, anything that had to do with the artsy stuff I liked, anything that had to do with being quiet and serious was really difficult for me. <laughs> I had teachers that would, we were in the ghetto, okay, so I had teachers that threw like staplers and shoes and rulers. Yeah, those are bad memories. <laughs> I hated PE because, I mean, seriously, girls cannot get all sweaty in high school, get all sweaty from running around the track and then the bell rings and you have four minutes to then shower and get all dressed again and you're wearing like, you know, ugly gym clothes and you're just, it's just not good. I like science. Favorite teacher. My, <laughs> my favorite teacher? Ooh, favorite teacher. My favorite teacher was Miss Carol Lohman. She taught the Stanislavski method in acting class, and so we got all deep in method and our emotions, and it was great. The only one I remember, even though it was just like yesterday, um, was Mrs. Brackman, my cosmetology teacher. She was, she was an older lady, and then she would also kind of try to teach us the facts of life. My Hindi teacher, Mr. Prasad, because when you talk like this, <laughs> I love them. I love them. Oh, um... I really liked Mrs. Rogers. Mrs. Rogers was uh, our English teacher, and she was really awesome. She was just a really cool lady. Dottie Rogers, Dorothy. I don't know where she is now. I had one, um, Mr. Fredrickson and uh, Mr. Morgan. Both of them were just so comical all the time, and they wouldn't let me come up to the board. At first they tried. At first they, you know, they would say, okay, Miss Martinez, come up to the board and write out the problem. And when they realized that I got to the right answer but nobody could figure out how, and then the whole class would end up confused, they quit doing that. <laughs> uh, English professor named uh, Stephen Olson, and he rode his little scooter. He rode a little scooter to school every day, and he was just very, he was he was really crazy, and and his class was very non-conventional, and in a in a small town Texas school, that's kind of hard to come by. So a lot of the kids really appreciated that. My favorite teacher in high school, I actually had two, and they were my theater teachers. It was Paul Crump and Jeanette Filardo, two very great people, kind of like the mother figure and the father figure for our little drama crew. And um, they pretty much let us get away with anything. You know, we had that last period theater class where we could make runs to Taco Bell and, you know, act stupid. And we got away with a lot. I think I missed every Monday of my senior year, thanks to <laughs> My favorite teacher was my drama teacher, Mr. Powell. 
and he he actually passed away my junior year in high school and he was he was just awesome he was so great and I spent the most amount of time with him because in drama you're in the plays and you're there till midnight rehearsing so we spent a lot of time with this teacher and he was he was awesome my favorite teacher in high school was Mr. Bra. She was from China, Texas. I like China because they make nice beer in China. I don't remember. I can't. I had a biology teacher, even though I and even though I hated biology, and I can't think of her name. Mrs. Smith. We'll say she was awesome. I think she was also a PE coach. <laughs> uh, she might have liked girls, but anyway, um, she was a great teacher. <laughs> Can I say something like a little bit rank? So, this is the one thing I remember about her. Um, somehow she was getting on a little facts of life uh, uh, conversation in cosmetology class one day, and we couldn't stop laughing because she always called it a penis. <laughs> I guess if I can't think of one, that means I don't have a favorite, right? I'm a method anime actress. <laughs> I like to really dwell or delve into my character. <laughs> there was a lot of girls that I didn't like in high school. Because they would make fun of me. And uh, this one girl, this one girl, Tina Thompson, she stole my boyfriend from me. I was so pissed off at that girl, I wanted to just hit her. Miss Thompson, she was my computer teacher. I don't think I hated a teacher. I didn't really hate her, but when she when you did something wrong, she would she would just snap at you. I know that's bad. Let me think. It was the worst thing, but I I did good in that class. I, I like that in accounting too. I didn't hate a teacher. Oh, we had this one teacher and I can't remember her name, Miss Sherman, I think, and it was for AP English. Believe it or not, I was an honor student. I don't know what happened. I don't think that I hated anybody. I didn't really hate any, but I had this one teacher who will remain nameless, and she looked like Dolores Claiborne meets Stephen King. It was for this honors English class, and this woman was so little and so mean, we found out that she was allergic to perfume. And so one day, all the girls in the class decided that we would wear like the skankiest perfume we could find. So we all went to the drugstore and bought really nasty perfume and then bathed ourselves in it. And yeah, poor Miss Sherman. If she's watching, I'm sorry, Miss Sherman. She just was school marm to the nth degree. And we had to read the Norton Anthology of Literature, which is about this thick. It, it was, she was my English teacher my senior year. and. The personality was just below zero, and I mean, come on, we need help staying awake as it is, and that just did not help. I hated this girl named Teresa because she got all the roles that I wanted, and um, so I, it, uh, so it was a lovely envy. But she was very good, so she made me want to be better. But I, you know, if she had died in high school, I would have been okay with that. Mm mm. Because then I would have gotten all the roles I wanted. But I won't say her last name. But she's not a famous actress yet. <laughs> And I am. The main cheerleader, which I'm not going to say her name, just in case this is ever dug up, she stole my boyfriend. So I really kind of just wanted to, you know, take care of her. There was this teacher named Mr. Popno in Brady. And I was even more awkward as a freshman. I was really weird. I had bad hair. I did not know how to dress. I was a total nerd dork. Nobody knew I existed. But Mr. Popno in chemistry or biology, one of those one of those kind of classes that I wouldn't do very well in. He was crazy and he was totally perverted and he would rock, walk around with this uh, uh, ruler. And when he wasn't trying to look up girls' skirts, he was like slamming the ruler around and really freaking you out and scaring you. He was a total loose cannon. It freaked me out. Yeah. The ones that told me I couldn't do, or the ones that I didn't feel like I could perform as well in that class, you know, I think those got me down. I don't remember. I remember there was this one guy who taught either Texas history or American history, I don't remember. And he was also a coach, you know? And uh, 
actually, I liked him. Well, I kind of liked him and I hated him. But if you weren't paying attention, my best friend was in the same class. We were always kind of cutting up and everything and getting in trouble and getting sent outside and such. And uh, anytime, like, you started falling asleep in class, which happens a lot mm -hmm. when you're in high school, all of a sudden, from across the room, boom, he would nail you in the head with the eraser. Didn't really hate any teachers. Yeah, I really didn't hate any teachers. I don't remember his name. I just remember getting nailed all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't really hate anybody. I just kind of did my own thing. I got along with everyone. I hung out with the guys and I hung out with the girls too. I probably had more guy friends than girlfriends. God bless you, Mr. Bono. I hope you're doing well somewhere out there.